All right, good morning, everyone. Lewis Sports Central. Today is May 12th, and this is the ES Morning Call. Sorry about yesterday. Didn't realize that my mic wasn't hooked up, and uh, too bad because I called the market to a T. I said that the market would go down yesterday and try to fill the gap, and if it doesn't, they would fill it overnight. And I actually called the low, but, you know, the sound was off, so I don't know what to tell you. Anyway, all right, um, look. Here's a day chart and I talked about yesterday was the fact that uh, since we made these the breakout here, we've gone one, two, three, four, five, and then we went uh, down one, up one, down two, up two, down two, up two, working out our second down. This is an important area because, you know, I'm, I'm thinking that we still got to get down in this area. This 2050 area and and uh, 2045, I think that the market really needs to go back down in that area just to uh, um, uh, uh, consolidate better. You know, this was what I showed you yesterday, and it didn't fill the gap. But what did they do last night? And we said, I said it in the last tweet, they'll probably fill the, the remaining of the gap overnight post close. Uh, I put that out in the Twitter as we closed the day out yesterday. So um, the gap's filled in now. So the gap being filled. Now we have to uh, take a look at the profile. Big range overnight. Okay. All this on the on the fact that the uh, you know we've got a high. I'm sorry. Overnight we've got. Um, I have to reset the daily split here. Sorry. Okay. All right, so we've got a high of uh, 2101, uh, and we've got a low, uh, 2079. And yesterday, all day, I kept saying we got to fill this. We're going to fill this gap in, fill this gap in. They did more than that last night. They came in uh, and uh, brought the market lower than that. And I'm looking at, you know, I really liked. It. I like it down here. See this 2069? I think this is not, you know, a, a bottom that uh, is complete right there. And um, I even like it all the way down to here. So 2056. I don't think this is complete. But I think, the, you know, we have to stay with the way the market's been trading. And this market has been, you know, up to, down to. Also, um, you know, they kind of overdid it overnight with the news out of uh, the ECB adjourning without any um, uh, resolution with the Greek situation plus uh, the mounting concerns of the aging uh, population in Europe and how and what it's going to cost to the ECB uh, so you know basically look we're in this trading range okay and uh, you just got to uh, you know you know take a look at the, the factors that will allow you to trade the trading range right so you know one of the tools that I use is the um, this four hour there's that four hour Keltner channel um, this is uh, a range from the other day so the blue you know I always try to you know get the middle right and if you can see we have these big moves uh, on either side of this middle and uh, uh, we've come down now and we've touched the top of that range of 79 uh, half and uh, and we're getting in the oversold area in the Keltner channel the bottom of that range is uh, 74 half so 74 half um, and once again here's that four hour chart we did not take out the four hour pivot yesterday and um, that was uh, um, and too bad you didn't hear me but yesterday I said I thought the market would rally up between 2112 up to 2115. I would want to sell failure, but what it did do is it, it failed to take out yesterday's or the day before's high, right? So we got up here yesterday and we 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 made it, you know, 2113 half, and to me that was failure. Let me put that in there. And with the failure in the market, that's when, we, you know, we spent the rest of the day moving down. Okay. So today, um, although I would like to see uh, the market go down to the 2050 area, I think there would have to be some really negative news to bring it down there today. Um, 
I think you're going to get a two-sided trade. You're going to see the profile fill in. Let me bring it back in here. I think we're going to get a two-sided trade. You're going to get a retracement back up into this area. All right. And then um, uh, we'll see what happens. I think they'll put more more volume in this area, right? So um, you just got to kind of go with the flow today and jump on the, on the market trends, okay? Uh, as far as... Sorry, get that out of our way. So the four-hour chart's getting the oversold area. I would look for this market to bottom out around 2074 half um, today. If it if it gets through that 74 half, then we got to take a look at uh, um, what kind of momentum we got going after it gets through there. Okay. Here is a five-minute. Let me put this up at 30 minutes so we get the value area because we're trading way below value. Um, outside of the range okay all right so um, top of value is 21 11 half point of control is 21 10 bull bear zone right here 2088 2088 we're approaching it right here and then the bottom of value is 2105 2105 um, so um, you know, I've got uh, 96 up here. You know, will we struggle to get back inside value? All right. I mean, that's uh, we're we're you know 1,300 points or 1,100 points lower. So we have to uh, take that into consideration. Um, let me take a look at where the five-minute pivot is. I think the five-minute pivot we are approaching it. It okay. All right. So we have the five-minute pivot at. 2088.75, which is right above the bull bear zone of 2088. So let's watch this area, uh, see if there's any failure there, and uh, um, to, to move forward. A uh, lot of action in the other uh, commodities today. I don't know what's going on here, but the bonds um, made a low overnight of uh, 151. They're rallying about 152. I got the bull bear zone at 151.30, and uh, here is the uh, 153.10 is the uh, point of control. All right, 154.03 up here is the, um, I'm sorry, the bottom of value is 153.03. 154.03 is the point of control, and then 155.06 um, is the uh, top of value. Bonds have been on a, now a three-week slide. Um, I mean, coming off the highs up there of 163, 164 area, and we're down to 151. Uh, Tell me that there's, you know, people believe that there's a rate hike that is coming soon. All right. So uh, uh, keep an eye on the bonds today. I have a lot of difficulty with this morning. All right. Let me go. Pull gold out of here. Gold is trading up. It's up 11 bucks now. Um, at uh, 11, right up in here, 11.94. Um, got the top of value at 11.8720. We got the bull bear zone in gold at um, 11.8310. Point of control at 11.8280, and the bottom of value 11.7940. Uh, once again, gold is in an, is a, you know, trending be between, uh, uh, you know, 1180 and 1220, 1180 and, you know, 11, I'm sorry, 1170 and, and 12, uh, 1215. So, uh, it's up again. Uh, one of these commodities is going to be right one of these days. I just, you know, they just, it's the way they're trading. Um, oil. Today, oil is coming off its highs. Okay, we can we made highs the last week, 62 and a half. We went down back in here, uh, traded uh, down in the low 58, and now we're coming off the highs of uh, last night of 60 half. Uh, bull bear zone 59.55, 59.45 is the top of value, 59 and a quarter. 
point of control, and then 58.97. All right, everybody have a good day trading, and we'll see you uh, on Twitter. Talk to you later. Bye.